The FBI opens an investigation into claims the Murdoch media empire tried to hack into the phones of 9-11 victims. Warnings mount on America's credit rating as another agency threatens to downgrade its AAA status. Investors await the results of the latest stress tests on European banks. Around 10 lenders are expected to fail. Hello, welcome to BBC World News. I'm Martine Dennis. Also to come, Russia orders checks on all its riverboats in the wake of the sinking of the Bulgaria, which killed more than 120 people. The cost of the war in Libya. Colonel Gaddafi abandons his lucrative oil trading with Italy. The American FBI has opened an inquiry into allegations that Rupert Murdoch's News Corporation sought to hack into the phones of victims of the September 11th attacks. The decision followed requests from several American politicians. Mr. Murdoch has given his first interview now and has defended his company's handling of the crisis. In a moment, Andy Moore reports on the latest developments in the growing scandal here in the UK. But first, we have this report from Laura Trevelyan in New York. Rebuilding is underway at the World Trade Center site, scene of the 9-11 attacks in which nearly 3,000 people were killed. The scars still run deep, so the Daily Mirror's allegation that News of the World journalists tried to obtain the phone records of 9-11 victims went down very badly here. A New York lawmaker pushed for the FBI investigation that's now underway. I represent a district that lost of 150 people on September 11th and the thought that anyone would have hacked into the phones of either those who were killed, those who were missing, uh, the family members during that tragic time at any time, but especially during that tragic time to me is contemptible. At News Corporation's headquarters in Manhattan, they're getting used to being the story rather than reporting it. 9-11 relatives want the FBI to find out if there's any truth in the hacking allegations. When I heard that this could um, extend to the United States and 9-11 victims, I was deeply uh, upset, very, very concerned, and uh, I'd like to see accountability and responsibility, and uh, no one is above the law. Meanwhile, Rupert Murdoch has given an interview to his own Wall Street Journal newspaper, in which he says his news corporation company has handled the phone hacking crisis extremely well in every way possible making just minor mistakes. He describes reports that he's considering selling off his newspapers as pure and total rubbish. And Mr. Murdoch says of his parliamentary appearance next week, we think it's important to absolutely establish our integrity in the eyes of the public. The FBI investigation into whether there was an attempt to obtain the phone records of 9-11 victims may not lead anywhere. The allegations could be completely untrue. But right now, Rupert Murdoch's News Corporation is facing investigations on both sides of the Atlantic. Laura Trevelyan, BBC News, New York. Yesterday, former News of the World Deputy Editor Neil Wallace was questioned by detectives at a London police station. Until recently, he was employed by the Metropolitan Police as a press consultant. He earned £24,000. It was also revealed that he had dinner with Sir Paul Stevenson during the first phone hacking investigation. I do not believe on any occasion I have acted inappropriately. I am very satisfied with my own integrity. That dinner was one of 24 meetings with News of the World staff. Home Secretary Theresa May has written to Sir Paul asking for the full picture of what happened. Meanwhile, from his yacht on the French Riviera, one of News Corporation's biggest shareholders, Prince Al Walid bin Talal Al Saud, spoke to the BBC. He said Rebecca Brooks, chief executive of News International, should resign if it was proved she knew anything about phone hacking. The indications are for her involvement in this matter is explicit. For sure, she has to go. You bet she has to go. Ethics to me is, are, is very important. Definitely, I don't. Uh, I will not accept and tolerate to be to, to, to deal with a company that has a lady or a man that has uh, any sliver of doubts uh, on, on, on her or her integrity. 
The prince said he believed Rupert Murdoch's bid to take full control of B Sky B was not dead and could be relaunched at some stage in the future. Andy Moore, BBC News. Now, the ratings agency Standard & Poor's has said it could downgrade America's debt rating if the U.S. finds itself unable to pay all its bills. America currently has a triple A debt rating. That's the best possible, but that's come into question of late. The warning by S&P follows that of Moody's on Wednesday. It said that if the U.S. Congress failed to adopt a higher level of borrowing, the country's rating could slip. Before the Republicans agree to more debt, they want assurances of deep cuts in government spending. But President Obama's Democrats would prefer to raise taxes. If there's no agreement by August the 2nd, the U.S. government could run out of money. And a former head of the U.S. Federal Reserve, Paul Volcker, he's expressed his concern, saying such a deal is absolutely necessary, but it's unlikely to happen. We do need a long-term plan for dealing with huge deficit and 